Welcome to Pelican Island, America's first national wildlife refuge. This special place would look much different today had it not have been for the vision and hard work of dedicated people over 100 years ago. In 1881, Paul Kregel, a German immigrant, arrived in Sebastian, Florida, where he homesteaded with his father on an ancient shell midden on the west bank of the Indian River Lagoon. From his home, Kregel would look out to Pelican Island, a five-acre mangrove island where thousands of brown pelicans and other water birds would roost and nest. Without state or federal laws to protect the birds, Kregel took an interest in protecting the island's birds and would sail to Pelican Island to stand guard with his gun. Kregel was visited by many influential naturalists who stayed at the nearby Oak Lodge between the 1880s to the early 1900s. One was Frank Chapman, a well-known ornithologist who was curator at the American Museum of Natural History in New York and a member of the American Ornithologist Union. Chapman originated the idea for the Christmas bird count. He discovered that Pelican Island was the last rookery for brown pelicans along the east coast of Florida and pledged his support to protect the birds. In 1901, following a successful campaign in Florida to pass legislation to protect non-game birds, Kregel was one of four wardens hired by the Florida Audubon Society to protect water birds from market plume hunters. Two of those wardens were murdered in the line of duty. Chapman and his fellow bird protection advocate, William Dutcher, realized the birds of Pelican Island required additional protection. They were acquainted with President Theodore Roosevelt, who had assumed the executive office in 1901. They visited Roosevelt at his home in Sagamore Hill, New York, and appealed to his strong conservation ethic. On March 14, 1903, without fanfare, President Roosevelt signed an executive order establishing Pelican Island as the first federal bird reservation. He would go on to establish a network of 55 bird reservations and national game preserves for wildlife, the forerunner for today's National Wildlife Refuge System, consisting of over 555 National Wildlife Refuges. Paul Kregel was hired as the first National Wildlife Refuge manager. He was paid $1 a month by the Florida Audubon Society because Congress had not set aside funds for this refuge created by the President. Pelican Island represented the first time that lands were set aside by the U.S. government for the sake of wildlife.